Today I am discussing the, the law in relation to the partition suit. Now, if any Hindu who dies interstate, by interstate we mean anybody who has died without leaving any will, his property will go to all first class legal heirs. So all of them will become equal owners. So now what they can do is they can file a partition suit in the court of law depending on the jurisdiction. Now jurisdiction means the, the value of the suit, the value of the property will decide where this case will go, will be filed, whether it will be filed before lower court or high court. Now there is a lot of misconception which is there that in a partition suit you have to pay an ad order court fees. In a partition suit you only had to file a fixed court fees. Now what is fixed court fees? Fixed court fees is irrespective of the value of the property. You have to pay fixed court fees if you are in possession of the property. So even constructive possession has also been considered by the court. Now in case anybody wants to file a partition suit who is not getting his right, he can go to court, he can ask for a partition of the property by meets and bound. Now property even all movable and immovable will be divided equally among all the first class legal heirs. Expert legal advice with lauratu.com. Hit subscribe on our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications. You can also follow our Facebook page and get the latest posts in your news feed. There is no difficulty on that and if they will initially try for a settlement, if that settlement fails. Or transactions, what happens, what do people do and what are the repercussions of it?